I see Dry's got his tent. Same place as when I saw it first. Is he there? No, well, there wasn't a sign of life, not when I went out there. I thought you were supposed to be a painting attic. Have you run out of steam? <laughs> no. I wonder what Dry will do. See you. I mean, what more could he ask for? No, I wouldn't fancy lying beside a woman like that. All those bones sticking into you. What makes her so elegant to look at? Oh, look at me be. That's about it. But, well, she's got such an air about her. Oh, aye. She's got an air, all right. She wouldn't dirty her hands without. Well, why should she? She wasn't brought up to. Well, she's a lady. From what I hear, your dad isn't short of a bob or two. And dry. Oh, there's a rum do. He could buy and sell Henry Wilkes and a dozen more. And he's had good schooling and all. <laughs> and what's that got to do with Celia? There's folk and folk, lass. Now, take you and Dry, for instance. You came here, both of you, well provided for, but you came and you mucked him with us. Now, it doesn't make you no less, and it don't make Dry no less. Because she's got a bit of brass, it don't make her any more. Was you, I always thought dry come from money. You just contradicted yourself. Nay, nay. There's quality there. I can tell. Oh, and confidence. But of course, you only get that with age. Well, that's different. Nay, it's the same thing. Take Matt and Sheep. He's a different fellow when he's working with Sheep because he's moving in a world where he feels secure. And of course, dry only does what he likes because he's got security behind him. But he's turned his back on all that. Ah, ah, but it's still there, isn't it? So how come it's all right for Dry and not all right for Celia? It's what folk are, lass, that matters. I mean, take Annie. Her mum and me, we did our best for her. It weren't much. But I'd stake her against that Celia any day of week. It's about the twins. Oh? Well, I was wondering if, uh, well, it's Aunt Beatty's birthday, you see, and she wants us all to go over there. Seems everybody's been having a birthday lately. <laughs> oh, well, they come in a bunch, like Bill's. <laughs> yes. Well, would you like to come? Oh, if I'm invited. Of course. I'd be happy to. And you don't mind? Give us a chance to talk. Talk? Mm. Oh, I, uh, Ma said that you'd not been feeling too good lately on account of something Dry had said to you. Uh, well, it's not well, about I mean, that. I wouldn't, things... If you felt badly, like, uh, what happened? You're not up to seeing the twins. I'm perfectly all right. To be honest, I feel a bit of a ninny breaking down like that. Yeah, I can't understand it. it. It isn't as if I've kept my feelings bottled up or anything. Mm, it happened to me. Strange that it just come on sudden, like. I felt a bit of a fool after, but maybe it was all for the best. Perhaps we both tried too hard not to let things show without realising it. No, oh, I think that might be it. Any road, you'll have a good day over at Ambeaties. Get to know the twins a bit. They're really starting to know who's who now. Well, that's him off then. Morning. Who's off? That Dryden fella. I've just been talking to Dolly Harker. He's been round with Keys. You mean he's left the forge? Aye. Happen Mr. Burney saw to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you got a small one of them? Vicar's collecting again. I can't keep up with it. Well, that dry started to use his tent again. I saw it out in the field this morning. Uh, 11p. Oh, these are for Cobbler when he calls. Right. Our fields and segs. way I see it is he's avoiding that lot like plague. What lot? That lot has descended on feathers at Connelton. Oh. Mind you, I don't think he's right in the head, poor lad. Dry? Well, ask yourself, why would they go to all trouble to come up here? Droves of them. way I see it is he's not been well, poor lad, and they've come to collect him. Stands to reason that think he'd be more at home with his folk round him. Good morning. Can I help you? Thank you, yes. Do you sell plasters? Uh, yes. What kind would you like? Assorted ones or one big one? Strips. I've blistered my heel. It's a nice day. Are you sightseeing? Sort of. 27p. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. Morning. Do you 
wants to get herself some proper walking shoes. Well, I wouldn't mind the ones she's got on. Must be as daft as he is. And she's on her way up to your place. Hey, I'd like to know what it is he's got that's worth out running after. Morning. Morning. on the right. You've left gate open. Shut gate, you'll have all the sheep out. Oh, I don't know, some folk must be born. Yeah. Sorry. Don't you want us to hunt them? Uh, oh, uh, sorry I shouted, but uh, devil's own job to catch till they all get out. I should have had more sense. Have you seen him this morning? Uh, dry, no. Have you tried to forge? It's all locked up. I thought when I saw the tent that Well, he... I, I was wondering where he was myself. Mind you, he might be back at the farm by now. I, I was just on my way. Oh, well, I'll try there. Can I give you a lift? Oh, uh, no, it's on the other side of this field. I'll walk with you. Oh. Right. I've asked Alison to come over to Aunt Beatrice with us. You all right now? Just like usual. I wasn't going to ask her at first, but then I went back. Is she coming? Oh. She's never seen Dan Middleton's place. You know how he loves showing folk around. Oh, well, that's what I thought. I was a bit worried at first about her seeing the twins. Well, I mean, if Dry could upset her just by talking about losing folk. You think seeing twins might start it up again? Might have been fresh in her mind, like. They ought to do her good. Tom Dad let us have some of his new potatoes. We've heard enough about them. Not been in, has he? Dry. You seen him? Oh, must have gone walk about again. No, not here. What's this? You'll have to get rid of this load of old rubbish in the corner here. What are you on about? This lot under here. Hey, I'll thank you not to go rooting under my bar. <sighs> You'll have to get rid of this lot before the builders start. Give you an opportunity to have a good old clear-up. He got coronation, you. 
Well, on second thoughts, you better keep them. They must be antiques. These were all supplied to me from brewery. Well, you don't have to embalm them. You chuck them out when you get a new one. These are my things. You've no business to go rooting. Some of these belong to my predecessor. You haven't got him in a box under there, have you? When it comes to bar, Mr. Wilkes, if you don't mind, I'll do instructing and clearing. I've my own way of doing things, and my duty is to my customers, not... Oh, morning, Vicar. Half, is it? Ah, uh, no, thank you, Amos. Henry, I'm oh. afraid I haven't come to buy anything. I'm collecting for the bottle store, church fete. Oh, the church fete, eh? <laughs> now then, Amos, chance for you to do your duty. Collected from the shop? Oh, I'm not missing anybody out. Matter of fact, I saw Alison earlier. She was looking quite bright and none the worse for the upset, I was glad to say. Ah. Had a chance to talk to her yet? No. You? No. If you can. Ah. Oh, well, uh, you've got to have something while you're here. Oh, no, no, I mustn't have lots of calls to make. <laughs> I've not yet heard what it's to be in aid of this year. It's a question of charity beginning at home, I'm afraid, eh, Moss? We've just got to do something about the heating in the church. Well, proceeds usually go to the old folks' home, or some are affiliated with it. Since many of its inhabitants are among my most regular attenders, I don't feel I'm letting them down. Uh, take more than one church fate to raise enough money for that, I'd have thought. Ah, it's in a bad way. Have you thought of a raffle? Oh, you should have a cake, something like that. Make it something worthwhile. There you are. Five P a ticket each. Should fetch a tidy sum. That is more than generous, Henry. Oh, not much. Just something to lighten the burden of fundraising. Village folk always do their bit. Aye. Well... Uh, uh, hang on. I want someone in return. Courtesy of Henry Wilkes, Woolpack. Publicity for us, you see. Oh, you shall have it, Henry. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm not having that. We're partners, Mr Wilkes. You can't go use it name at Woolpack in conjunction with yourself alone. My contribution to the fate, Amos. The Woolpack's my address. You can't do that. Of course, I could donate it anonymously, but it seems a pity to waste the publicity. Any donations made from this house must be in both our names or not at all. I don't see why. That's my donation and I live here. Bless if I can see what's wrong with that. I'm not having folks think that you're making donations from here without me. Then you put up the same amount, half each. You can't give three bottles and call it half each. Half... It'd look cheese pairing. I mean we both give the same. There you are, Vicar. Courtesy Messrs. Brearley and Wilkes, the Woolpack. That makes an even number. Looks better. I'm putting dinner out if you give Dad and Chris a shout. Right. Oh! She came looking for dry. Henry wants him at all. Well, he's not here, but not that I've seen him. Doesn't seem like dry wants us here. Chris showing what around. Ah, oh, they, they were talking about shoes. I, I, I don't think uh, Celia's interested in farm. Ah. I don't be long. Right. Dinner's ready in a minute. Okay. Oh, you'll have to get out of that lot if you're going to give us an hand to get in. I'm going out with Celia this afternoon. Eh? Hey, but the hey, hair, I thought you were going to well, give... I feel like going out for a chain. A chain? I've got things to see to, you know, for the wedding. Aye, but... A fine thing if we all took day off. All work and no play, Joe. I just think you should have mentioned it, that's all. Well, I have mentioned it. I just told you. All right, well, last minute... Chris, I, I didn't mean to say that. Imagine you say a lot of things you don't mean. You, you just made me mad. It, it came out. I, I didn't think. I couldn't say anything at dinner time. Uh, not with all that lot of gawping. I don't expect they noticed anything. Look, Chris. 
You do want to marry me, don't you? It's not just something you fancy doing at the moment. You sound just like my father. Well, do you? How could you say a thing like that? Now, now don't start taking the wrong meaning. Look, I'm going to tell Mr Ruskin to call the bands as soon as he can. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm fed up of waiting. Made it up, have you? Her car's here again. I saw it coming down the lane. That'll be for me. Have a good time. You look cracking in there. Yes, I would like to take him up on that. Edward, what you... Be all right if I let him know in, uh, ooh, a uh, couple of days. Hmm. Oh, well, no, thank you for reading me. Goodbye. Now. What do you think? Hmm. All it needs is a new hat. Apart from that. Well, um... Hmm. It's lovely. Uh, Dan Middleton's groom wants to know if we can use the cart at the fete. A cart? Well, why not? They did very well with it at the Little Well Fete last year. Hmm. The children certainly enjoyed the rides. You know, you'd look just right riding round in the cart in that. People won't think I'm trying to look a bit too modern. Oh, love, it's charming. It's, it's, it's sort of Edwardian. Yes, well, um, it's fashionable. Oh, come along. I'm a bit later than I said. Oh, oh. Uh, if you'll excuse me a minute, I'll just go and change. Oh, I say. It's new. Uh. I made it myself. Very nice, too. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Ah. Oh. Uh, all right, if I... Oh, of course, yes. Oh, hey. I stopped off to have a word with Alison and we got chatting, you know. You didn't manage to get round to discussing our problem. <laughs> Scores of these things. I've just brought a few for you to see. Something's troubling, Matt. Because, uh, Annie asked me if I knew anything about it. Alison's past, that is. Did you tell her? Well, I didn't reckon it was my place to... Annie asked me to tell Matt. Thought it might help them. Perceptive woman, that. <laughs> uh, what do you think of these? Yes, it's very interesting. Well, you see, it's not generally known that I asked Alison to marry me. Uh, twice, as a matter of fact. She turned me down. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just one of those things. But I don't mind admitting my attitude to Matt was a bit less than generous when I found she took up with him. So you see my position. I don't honestly know how to go about asking without her thinking the wrong thing. Aye. I shouldn't have asked you. Oh, well, now since you weren't in all the circumstances. I'm afraid I did. Eh? Usual village rumour, nothing more. Oh. I just wanted to make sure that you and me and Amos were the only ones who did know about Alison. In the light of recent events, it... What's that? Well, Letty Brewer. Well, gossip. Small villages thrive on it. Aye. But they'd have a field day if they found out about Alison. You see, I, I brought her here. I feel responsible. I'm biased. But I don't think Alison will marry Matt. Somehow there doesn't seem to be... I'm biased. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what develops, won't we? Oh. Well, if you take to the idea, I, I thought we might get dry to knock up a frame and we can put these on display with the raffle. Yeah, it'd be different. Well, a bit of interest, something else to look at. Besides, to please Amos, in a way, it was his idea. Amos suggested it? Well, not in so many words, but he, he's kept them all these years, and, uh, well, well, uh, now I've unearthed them, he wants to have them on display. And <clears> you <throat> think they'd look better on display at the fete than... than in the bar at the Wolfpack? <laughs> well, why not? That'll make two things nobody's expecting. <laughs> Wally Lum, halfway up the garden path. Oh, dear. You in or out? Three things. In. John, we was moving. What do you reckon? Give us a minute and what? Oh, well, you've hardly done out. Hey? But it won't seem dry. Hey, that daft fella, who's in the tent? That's no way to talk. 
Happy moments as he is. Well, he's not. Go on, shift yourself. All right, for you, Ragnarok and Bela. Oh, go on then, before your brother gets back. Did your ma'am know, by the way, we're working through till seven? Joe. Drop of ale puts life into you, so Grandad says. Love his mum after you. Now what, Chilla? Right. Go on. And don't be so grumpy, you, else you won't be my best man. Oh. My wedding, daft. You're really getting wed. Didn't your mum tell you? Ah, uh, Kathy got wed, and she's pregnant. It must have cost a fortune. Only a small one. Can't see how the rest of us are going to match up to that. Oh, of course you will. I was torn between this one and a very, very white one. But then Celia and I decided this one looked more period. You know, more like the real thing. It's very well made, I'll say that. Celia thinks it's as good as anything I could have had made for me. You look lovely in it. Oh. <laughs> I'll get some milk. Oh, oh just get out, you mustn't see. It's an outlift in Arrogate. Looks like you bought the old place up. Did you manage to get the bath and all? It wouldn't part with them. <laughs> this is for you. Oh. But heck. Hey, that's right. Fancy, isn't it? It'll look marvellous. And Celia knows a place where we can hire an Edwardian suit to go with it. Hey, hang on. I've got a suit. Oh, but you can't wear an ordinary suit. Ordinary? You said it looked fantastic when you helped me pick it out. But it still is, but you can't wear it for the wedding. Why not? Because I want an Edwardian wedding. It's special, don't you see? But, oh, I, I, I can't go out in one of them things. I look daft. Don't be silly. I'm not being silly. Look, I just don't want to wear one of them funny-looking suits. seen out of Mr. Dry yet. Henry's phone for him again. Well, his tent's still there. Oh, that man. Celia's been trying to find him. She'll have to come up here again tomorrow now. Well, you seem to like her company. Yes. And she's going to tell you where you can get your suit from. And I think it's very nice of her. Look, I've told you I've got a suit. One that I want. But it won't be right. Not correct. Celia says... Celia that... says? Well, Celia can wear it, cos I'm not. Next up here on Sky Soap, as the world turns. <laughs>